Welcome to exercise number one for MasterCam for SolidWorks lathe training. And this is going to be the exercise that we're going to be starting out with. Now, it's very simple exercise, and I'm going to go over it real quick in this video before I get started. OK, now I will be going a little slow in this exercise because I really want to make sure that you understand the basics of MasterCam programming, especially that step by step flow chart that I've created for you. And you should have it open in front of you as well. If you don't know what that flowchart is, go ahead and open it. It's going to look just like this. And it's called MasterCam for SolidWorks Flowchart. And this is the step-by-step -step of everything to do when you first start programming in MasterCam. Okay, this is a PDF that is included in your exercise files folder. Now, this is going to be the first exercise. It's a very simple exercise. As you can see that there's a yellow and green area. Now, I've done this on purpose just so you can see where is the area that you're going to be machining. Yellow is going to indicate the area that you'll be machining. Green is going to indicate the stock that you won't be touching. So if you actually move this part around, you're going to see the back side as well as the top and most uh, basically the biggest OD of the part, the outer diameter of the part. You will not be machining, but you'll only be machining this area as well as drilling a hole in this area as well. OK, let's go ahead and open up the drawing for that. And this is also going to be called exercise one, either PDF or DWG. So if you have SOLIDWORKS 2015 or 2014 and above, you'll be able to open this. I made sure for MasterCam for SOLIDWORKS Lathe Edition, I've created all of my exercises as well as the models in SOLIDWORKS 2014 to make sure that you'll be able to at least open them in 2014 and later. OK, so this is going to be the first exercise, exercise number one. As you can see, it's a, it's a, a part that's going to be six inches in length and it's going to be also if you take the middle as you can see i dimension it from the middle on up 1.75 in uh one way basically half the diameter so the radius is 1.75 so that means the diameter is 3.5 now i've stated the diameter on the right side over here with this outer diameter being 3.5 okay so all these dimensions are for you really if you like to create this part in solidworks say you only have master camp 2013 for example you will not be able to open up this part from our exercise files you'll actually have to create it yourself so this drawing allows you to do that allows you to take this part and make it and uh, again if you do not have solidworks please look at our solidworks we have a previous edition that is 2008 through 2013 which is a beginner's edition we also have a 2014-15 beginner as well as an advanced edition of SOLIDWORKS. So I highly recommend picking up a copy if you do not have anything to teach you SOLIDWORKS before you get started with MasterCam for SOLIDWORKS. OK, so this is going to be our part. As you can see, uh, it has a few 45 degree angle chamfers over here. Uh, it's got an area. So we have to basically machine this entire area right here. OK, as well as a radius over here. And we're going to have to drill a hole. And as you can see, I also dimensioned the depth of that hole here as well as over here. So I kind of have things double dimensioned here and here just to make sure that you know what you're doing if you're designing this part yourself. So this is going to be a half an inch hole that's going to be drilled to the depth of 2.15. OK, and that's very important. These are all important because when you're setting up the parameters for your toolpath, you need to come back over here and look at a few things over here. All right, so in our next video, we'll get started by setting up our part and uh, basically selecting the machine definition. As you can see, this is mill default, and we need to switch it to lathe. So we'll get started on that in our next video.